The only thing is, I'm like, just keep sending me some offers, please. You know, I'm trying to make a few, but oh, I went the wrong way. Yep, I went the wrong way. That's crazy. Now, ever since they did the update and reset the completion rate, man, I already knew. Look, they finna be sending out all trash orders. If they give you a reset on your completion rate, the next three days, they about to give you orders that's going to make you want to unassign every, all of them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I literally just recorded a whole video. They sent me so many upside down offers and I finally got one that's not crazy. $5 for 1.7 miles at KFC. And guess what? KFC right there. I was sitting here this whole time. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Showing these new drivers how to accept and decline these offers so they won't keep driving our pay down because when they take these trash offers and they deliver them with a smile on their face, they making the overall pay for everybody go down. So I had to get them hip on game. But let's go ahead and pick up this little $5 order and see what they got shaking for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click arrived. Let me see, they got a three piece chicken box. I'm, you know what? That's all they order and I'm just happy that they only a mile away and they at least had to tip two or three bucks. You know, with this low value, it's, it's just a blessing that they tipped anything at all. Like I'm gonna keep it 100. Let's head on over. It don't look like the drive through is packed. Let me see if I can make this five bucks real quick. Cash order. That thing ready. That's that's the most I can ask for. Now, you know what? Before I confirm this, let me go ahead and check and make sure this ain't no hand to me customer. Because that's the one thing that I cannot stand is when it's a hand to me customer. But it looks like we good to go. So let's go ahead and slide and make this $5. It's crazy. Cause I just literally got de done declining like 10 orders. It's like they knew exactly what to send me. I and boy, did DoorDash not disappoint. They sent me all orders that had the worst parameters. So I say, thank you. You just made me a great video. Let me go ahead and actually make a couple dollars now. Lucky on this one, guys. One mile away, order was ready. The only thing is I'm like, just keep sending me some offers, please. You know, I'm trying to make a few, but oh, I went the wrong way. Yep, I went the wrong way. That's crazy. Now I gotta, you know what? It's cool. I can actually bust a right right here. Let's go ahead and confirm that. $5. I think this will probably be a $2 tip. Nope, I'm wrong. It's a $3 tip. $2 base pay. I forgot they dropped the base pay in my market. I gotta make sure I remember that. Base pay dropped down to $2 at the same time that they reset the completion rate and trying to get the customer to tip more. Next up, we got $9 for seven miles. No, sir. $9, seven miles. I'm declining that. That order does not meet my parameters because it is going way too far away. So we finna let that thing stay. But check this out though. So since they, com since they reset the completion rate, what I think is gonna happen soon is, you know, a lot of folks was confused, was this gonna happen on December 6th or you know what, what what was gonna be the case well they've already did the reset it happened on the 20th and between now and november 6th is gonna be the time where doordash is kind of waiting and your stats might be grayed out all the way to that time but i think that come december 6th we may see some major changes on the platform i think it's gonna be lots of deactivations happening come december 6th because it's gonna be a lot of folks that didn't drop below that new 90 percent and they're gonna be up for deactivation. You wanna make sure you're being careful out there. Protect your account. Protect your ability to make that money on these platforms. So that's why I'm doing less DoorDash because I ain't trying to, you know, take to look at them bad orders they sent me earlier. Boy, I'd have had to unassign probably five of those. You got $10.25, 10.2 miles at Wings Stop where they got them wings hot. And guess what? It's gonna stay right there. We make sure that when December 6th come, you are not below 90%. Really, you don't wanna fall below it at any time but you definitely want to make sure that you don't fall below come december 6th when your stats go from gray back to green because there's going to be a lot of folks out there getting deactivated and they're not going to have access to the platform they're not going to be able to make that money and you know you want to make sure you're not one of those folks you heard it and i'm trying to tell you don't say you wasn't warned don't say you didn't know nobody want to hear none of that get out there if you accept the order complete it if it don't, if it give you the sign, if it give you the little symbol to unassign without penalty, cool. Other than that, just go ahead and complete every order you accept to the best of your ability. If you have to unassign, try to do it through support and try to make it not count against you because you don't want to be in no situation where you didn't got deactivated because of an update. Check this out. This whole week, November 6th to now, no, November 20th to now, 
I done made $7.65 on DoorDash. Ever since they did the update and reset the completion rate, man, I already knew. Look, they finna be sending out all trash orders. If they give you a reset on your completion rate, the next three days, they about to give you orders that's gonna make you wanna unassign every, all of them. They testing you. They testing you. So if I was you, I'd be trying to do a little bit less DoorDash, at least until December 6th, so you see how things shake out. Watch how many dashes drop off in your market come uh, December 6th. Now check this out. We got another order coming in right now. Wayne Gang. Let's see what they talking about. $4.25 for 13 miles. $4.25, y'all. 13 miles. Y'all see that? That's crazy. $4.25 for 13 miles. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, don't be out there going for no delivery streak. Cause you out there trying to get a delivery streak, but they just sent you an order that's four dollar payout going 13 miles. And if you unassign it, you might get deactivated. And if you don't accept it, you ain't gonna get your delivery streak. But guess what? They already stole 10 bucks from you. Why is you trying to get eight back? Let that thing time right out. Why? Because I don't care about no acceptance rate. I would decline every single order you send my way until you send me a five dollar going one mile. Because that's the only thing I was willing to move for. And that's the that's that's look, if it ain't three to five. Three, if it ain't anywhere from three to five to one on the mouse money ratio is not happening. Look at this. Little Caesars, 2.7 miles, $3.27. That's a no tip offer. No tip, no trip, baby, all day long. One of these days, I might feel a little charitable and say, you know what? Today, we're going to be delivering to a non-tipper and we're not going to confront them. Maybe one day I'll get there. But today is not that day. You better believe that. That's a decline. Look, boom down to 27 percent guess what i'm cool with it because if nothing else i got to show the community that, look don't take these offers fda dash trader ain't taking them i advise you do the same hey decline them bad boys decline them let doordash know let your algorithm know hey i am not a three dollar driver okay market know and your algorithm know hey i'm not a trash driver tony shoe you can send that three dollar order to somebody else because uh, look uh, us over here on this channel, we ain't having it. We never, we never did play. We never will. Look at this. And the map just turned bigger red. You telling me the map just got bigger red? Are you trying to do me like that? Shoot, I'll take my little five dollars and I see it right here. You better believe that. Let me see what I got going on. Vora Motors, send me an email. They must want me to buy one of them little scoopers. I, I like that. Uh, that that E Move. Uh, what was it? The Emu? Was it the, I can't even remember the name of the scooter right now. What Walmart Spark got going on? $21 six miles. That's nice, but I'm not by that Walmart. I can't take that. You know what? We just gonna turn Walmart off for tonight because it's almost that time where they finna stop doing curbside and shopping orders anyways. So I will save my battery on that phone. And you know what I'll do? I'll talk along Uber Eats. Boom, we'll get that cracking because uh, I like to give my time wisely to these gig apps and right now walmart spark is not the move not at this time of night but the food delivery is you just got to understand that you might get a slew of trash offers before you find that one that meets your parameters but guess what i'm cool with it because i ain't got nothing but time and at least if you get a delivery streak on grubhub they actually pay you out on it and they don't freaking scam you doordash out of a hundred dashes that's going for this delivery street, they probably pay out three of them. They scamming the other 97 of us. And that's a huge shame. The thing is, look, don't don't get deactivated out there under signing orders and not being prepared for the new changes. Regardless of if I'm only making $5 in a shift and they sending me 10 mile deliveries, that's all well and good. The main thing I want you guys to take in this video is understand that this reset and completion rate is a good thing, but don't get yourself caught down to 89% where you used to be good at 89 and now that's uh, grounds for deactivation. Let's see what Grubhub got. $8.55 for 4.7 miles. And it's coming back this way? I actually think I can take that. I'm going to take that. Oh, you know what? Nope. The merchant. They be tweaking. As Bella Milano is a good merchant. But last couple times I was there, they was tweaking. So I actually told, I said next time I get an order there, I'm not taking it. Because if it was right here, I'd pick it up and I'd wait. But I got to drive over to Bella Milano to get this order. And if I drive over there and it's not ready, now nah, I just gamble. I can't go over there to wait when I'm already waiting right here. So that's a decline. Even though the miles money was good and it actually was bringing me back this way. Still can't take it. Nope. I know my worth. You got to know your worth when you out here doing these gig apps, guys. Because these gig, hey, these companies will try to get you. They'll try to play you like you a dummy driver, a little $2, $3 driver. No. 
I'm not a $2 driver, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub. Don't try to play me because I'm not happy. All right, we're getting another one. Let's see what DoorDash got in store for me. Grubhub sent me that same offer. Now, this is something... Mm, you know, I, I almost took this one. $5 even, 3.6 miles. I actually almost took this one just because I'm right here by Jack in the Box. But after close examination, nah. If it had been three miles even, I would have did it. But for point six extra, no. I need six bucks. Stop playing with me. That's a decline. Looks like we got another one coming in. 525, 3.4 miles at KFC. KFC is drive through. I'm right here. And this is actually, now I know the other one was 3.6 miles and it was Jack in the Box. This one, I am going to decline as well. Yep, not taking it. Not high enough. All right, this might be the last order of the night. Let's see what this is. It said my pizza. $2.75. No tip, no trip. $2.75, three miles. My pizza. This is crazy. Look at this. Look at this in all its glory. No tip, no trip. I don't care if it's a pizza order. I don't care if it's a possibility for a cash tip. We don't gamble with our earnings. So look. If you enjoy watching me decline these offers and make five bucks, let's go ahead and end that dash real quick. Might as well go ahead and end it. Boom. We out of there. Five dollars in nine minutes. But it's 7.16 and I've been out here since 6.16. So I made five bucks for a whole hour. Look, I'm cool with it. Because as long as I let DoorDash know that I'm not finna be out here driving for free and that they can't just be sending me any old crazy offers thinking that we finna accept that, I'm cool with it. And if nothing else, all the offers that I declined today, they at least went up a little bit. So the next dasher who out there may be, you know, going for that delivery streak or whatever, at least they'll make a little bit more on all the offers I declined. So look, if you a top decliner like your boy, do me a favor. Hit that like button and the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.